Hey there, we're on day two of our little trek out here on the North Saskatchewan River with Eric's G1 High Banker. As you can see, it was empty, so we just want to do a quick video to show you how much gold we're actually pulling out um, just after a couple minutes of sluicing this. So, here's a start to finish video. It'll be a little boring. I'll let you know what minute to fast forward to uh, if you want to skip the uh, watching of him shoveling. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyways, we're just running it off his two inch hose, just run uh, just with some clamps to hold it on there. He's going to make an adapter later. We had teed it off originally before, um, so I could run a second hose over to my Angus, Mc Angus McKirk AU trap, but uh, it worked okay, but we found it was just as efficient to have two of us shoveling into this thing, and we didn't have to classify or do any of the stuff beforehand. So it did save some time and is a little more efficient. We've been testing around here behind big rocks and the gravel. Um, he also did a whole bunch of depth tests over there to about three feet deep. And it turns out the first foot seems to be about the best as far as gold count. Um, after a foot, it slowly gets to be less. And when we hit the water table there, uh, which is at about two feet and further, it seemed to be pretty minute, the uh, amount of gold. You might get you might get five or six specks in a can as opposed to, oh, I don't know, 40 or 50 or something like that up top. So, um, Anyways, he's got a garden hose tap up here that I told him to do, which is a, has turned out to be really good. You can see it running here. It's on a tap over there. We can shut it off if we want. Um, but the garden hose allows us to uh, clean out the sluices, clean out the high banker. Uh, it works really well just for rinsing things into the buckets or into the big bins. Um, so anyways, it's been working good. We'll get a closer up picture here. So we played around a lot with water flow and such, and his 150 gallon per minute pump we have cranked way down, probably about a quarter throttle or less even now. Um, just enough to give a good rinse and keep some of the gold. We ran my gold trap after his, my sluice, and just to see if he was leaving any, but I was only catching a very small amount. So we've tweaked it since and we've checked it and it seems to be pretty good now. We're not leaving very much. There might be some super fines that we're leaving, but we're not too concerned about that. So, so this is probably, oh, I don't know, 20 shovels now. 25, I'm not sure, something like that. Yeah, 20 shovels or so already? About that. Okay. <laughs> we'll say 20 shovels, it's probably pretty close. Might even be less. We've got quite the little pile going here from the last, uh, well, all day today and part of yesterday. We have a couple smaller ones. Uh, this was left by the other member that told us about the place. And, uh, yeah, so you can see he's doing the rinse out here into the bucket. Pretty good because you just crank the spray bar and it just sprays out all of the big riffles on the top of the hive anchor. And on the sluice is where we'll use the garden hose. We're going to put it in another bucket this time because we want to pan it out and see. So we can show you how much gold we're getting. Here, I'll do the garden hose. Whoop, knock the chair over. So the garden hose works really well. To rinse those riffles right out and keep it all in the bucket. Okay. And then we use the hose again to rinse out the bucket. You can see all those nice concentrates in there. Okay. So we'll watch Eric's panning skills. Oh, just go real quick and take a peek. Okay. I'm gonna have to turn into the sun. Come around on this side. 
There we go. So we just want to show you how much we're getting on the North Saskatchewan. 20 shovels at 6 inches of depth or so in our little spot here. You can see oh, if the sun or the shade oh, no, is right better. I think the sun. You see it all in there? You see it all down the side of the pan. Lots of black sand. Quite a few specks. Um, I don't know if the camera will focus here, but you can definitely see them. There's probably, I don't know, <laughs> probably a thousand specks. <laughs> Hard to say, but yeah, there's a lot in there anyways. Lots of garnets too. Um, but it seems to be pretty consistent between all this, oh, I don't know, fist-sized and bigger gravel all the way to under the rocks. Nice work, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Now we can retire. <laughs> now we can retire. Talk to you later.